Hi, Virgo. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color. This is your reading for November 13th through the 20th. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. The message is give yourself a break. Mm. All right. Uh, did I say, yeah, like, subscribe. I offer private readings. I also offer IET. Uh, I'm back in Mexico, as you can see. It's so interesting because, you know, I have Virgo rising. I, maybe you've watched me before, maybe you haven't. And I can be very Virgo-y. And um, so I started on the videos. I'm a little bit late, honestly, because, you know, this week was weird with traveling. And I started on Earth. And Capricorn and Taurus were very like, get to work, right? And, you know, Virgo, I never have to tell you to get to work because you're always at work, right? And and the and it's a very different um, little message for you, which is like give yourself a break. So I started, you know, I, I kind of put the place a little together, and you know, there's plenty to do here, believe me. And um, it's like you better get started on the videos, and it's fine. I'm doing the videos, and but the other one, it was like give yourself a break. So right after this video, I'm gonna go and eat. Right, and then I come back. So it's like give yourself a break. All right, that's your little mini message. I'm really happy to be back. I'm so happy to be back. I really am. I feel like it feels like my my new life has begun. I mean, it, it kind of it felt like that for a few months, but now it's like it really feels like that. It's nice. It's really nice. Okay. You know, I keep on shuffling. All right. But sometimes I just keep the same cards keep coming up. All right. I have the six of pentacles. This is toward balance. And this is also this energy. Um, like, okay, so give yourself a break, like I said. But if you need help with something, your job is to ask for help. Right? Or if, if somebody calls on you and says, I need a little, you know, input or um, coin or time or expertise, then your job is to like show up for that. And sometimes we get so caught up in our own little whatever we're doing. And then someone asks us for help and we make time for it. And it's like, not only did I take a little break from my own thing and kind of clear my head and maybe get a new idea or just like, you know, Sometimes the best thing you could do when you're working on something is like, take a walk around the block. Just take a walk around the block. You know, just change your perspective a little bit, right? Get some air. So I think, so it's either you're asking or somebody asking you and participate. Because that is really satisfying and really, this is also a card of community. So, and this is, you know, I mean, it's the fairy tale card. It's the fairy tale card. So, you know, it's really about, you know, a community being satisfied. So, you know, maybe you're working on a certain aspect of something and other people are working on other aspects and they need help or you need help. And it's like, but you're building something. And this could just be, you know, yeah, I mean, in that picture, it's like, it's a man and wife and two children and, you know, all that. But, you know, I mean, I don't have a wife, right? But I have community, right? I have community and I have my own family, right? Um, and I kind of do have a Mexican family already, actually. Feels really good. And then I have the star. So the star is about hope, inspiration, new direction. Um, it's like a blessing like a blessing it is a blessing so maybe there's this new sense of community and this new sense of belonging and this new sense of building something that's going to lead you to a new satisfying and hopeful direction toward abundance toward nourishment toward um, joy toward clarity with being the lady in the garden. I'm slowly becoming the lady in the garden. 
so the, the lady in the garden is um wow well, you know I'm, I'm getting new and new interpretations lately about her so uh, you know if you can break this down to one word it would be gain right this is really it, it, it's really a card of wealth and it's a card of luxury but it's also it's a card of comfort grace this is really about grace right because she worked really hard to get here she went through all the other pentacles before she did it on her own for the most part right <clears throat> it was her own ideas her own effort blah 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 but she knows it she knows it. It, it, it it's not you know, sometimes people were, you know, like they become, say, very wealthy and they then they have this like, well, I'm entitled. You know, she's she doesn't have that. She has a sense of uh, gratitude and grace and comfort and relishing every moment in her garden. She relishes every single moment. Yeah. Community. Community. I, 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 so the, I'm getting a lot of cards of community. The nine of pentacles is not a card of community, but everything else is this, this sense of we're building something together that's creative, that uh, it might involve actually real estate, it might, or we're, we're creating something as a community. And we're not really 100% sure where it's going, but we have the general idea and uh we're putting it together and we're coming together and there's a sense of nourishment there's a sense of like uh family of abundance it's really nice really nice yep towards something new really nourishing really intuitive really healing and then the empress comes wow so you know it's interesting both of these these cards you know the empress is a goddess right? This is Venus. And this is really the incarnation. This is the Empress on Earth. This is the Empress on Earth, right? She's really in the physical world, right? So the difference between the two, I mean, this is a goddess, so it's, you know, look at how it's brighter, right? Um, this one sometimes at, at certain points can be a little isolated, right? She's almost living, I mean, in her negative sense, she's almost living like in a walled garden, in a, in a, like a gated community. It's like, well, I built this and I made this and she understands the grace, but she's like, well, you can come, but don't bring your friend. <laughs> don't bring your friend. Because, you know, I think they're going to steal the silver. <laughs> or, you know, they pick their nose, like, at the dinner table. This one, she has more in common with this. Everyone's invited. Everyone's invited. She's super generous, super giving, super creative, super loving. So maybe that's part of this. There's something, there's an opening. There's an opening of the heart. That's what I'm really getting. There's an opening of the heart. It's really lovely. There's an opening of the heart that allows more light in, but also um, radiates more light. Because I have a lot of cards of radio, you know, I have the sun and the star. And they radiate light. Very nice. There's a, there's a like a subtle shift here in the reading of allowing your light to shine, radiating your light, and through that receiving um, the mirror of the light back. Really nice. Yeah, because the mommy comes. Because mommy comes. <laughs> because <laughs> mommy comes and she really fits with all of them she really fits with this divine feminine energy of like healing of intuition of love you know because queen of cups is is really out of all the queens um 
she's really the loving, kind, um, hugging, um, baking. That's who she is. You know, she's really giving. She's really loving. She's really open. She's really um, intuitive. So this should be a very interesting week. Um, and I think it's going to happen sort of slowly. I think it's going to, you know, like, you know how you go to certain rivers and they're just like, phew, and then there are other ones that sort of are very lazy. It's a little lazy in a nice way, you know, in an easy way. That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. It's really nice. All right, away we go. <clears throat> Balancing a sense of community toward emotional satisfaction, toward the wish coming true, a new direction with community, building something creative, it's full of abundance and clarity, love, generosity, and healing. Really nice. Really nice. Blessings. <laughs>